It's a Wednesday on Monkey Ball Week, and today we thought we'd take an opportunity to answer some fan mail, because we get fan mail all the time. And, uh, so we, much fan mail. We thought we'd answer some questions. First question comes from DJ Tony Olds. This is verbatim. Hey there, Monkey Ball Clowns. Clowns? You, you guys suck, and I'm not coming to your stupid little tournament this year. Is there anyone else who has something better to do that weekend? Did he seriously say that? So he's asking who's not coming. And let me tell you who's not coming. Joe Frushauer. He's having surgery on Wednesday on his hand, so I, I understand. He'll be there. He's not playing. Kevin and Sherry Guns. They've been there at every event, yet they're not going to be there that day. Uh, Dan Renner. Something better to do. I think he's going to be on his boat. Tony Olds. For real. You're like family, bro. Kevin Singleton. I haven't seen you in a couple of years since your third place finish. Is he going to come with headphones again? He's not coming at all. He's just not That's coming. That's the whole point. He's not coming at all. Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking about people who aren't coming. Yeah. Forgot. Yeah. Preoccupied. Slightly. Uh, Matt Whitfield. Ugh. Matt Whitfield. We already talked about him yesterday. Joe Keitel. One Joe of our, Keitel. One of She's our best crazy. females. One of our best females. Not going to be there. So do I just skip this part back here? I just skip this part. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Second question from Jim Blair, the, ho the, the host of the last six world championships. This is very nice. Thanks for letting me host the World Championships at the Old Orchard for the last six years. Do you have any special memories from the Old Orchard? I do. Do you? Yeah. Let me hear yours. Um, well, I remember Kevin Guns specifically um, okay. uh, running naked. Not He wasn't naked, but he was definitely not clothed fully. Um, shirtless, mostly. Yeah. I remember what else? that. I remember... Um, I remember hand sanitizer at the porta potties. A lot of that. Why do you remember that? I, just so many great I things was, to I remember. I was really considerate, you know. Okay. Um, I remember pulled pork sandwiches. I remember the huge monkey ball structure that you and your dad put up. That will be there. I'm Where? pretty sure that will be at Erickson Park. God. Well, I remember a lot of things about the old orchard. Most of all, Jim Blair's, and I, like th that's great hospitality. You've hosted these people for a long time. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for a new location, but we'll miss it. Okay. What are your favorite memories? I won a world championship there. That's oh. a pretty good memory. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I just remember, like, going there made us change our setup and organization. It's just a really good tournament now, and that's because of Jim Blair. But mostly I remember uh, winning that championship. All right, question number three. Oh, this one comes from Dean Allen. Oh, shit. Where is it? Hang on. So next year is the 10th anniversary of Monkey Ball World Championships. And he says this. Do you have anything special lined up for the 10th annual event next summer? Legitimate question so far. Legitimate. Specifically, do you have anything special lined up? Or do you have, any, do you have a special ceremony ready when I win my 7th world title? A couple things here. One, he's assuming he's going to win his 6th. Did he this, just, he said that. And then 7th, 6th this summer, 7th next summer. Um... I think he's going to be stuck on five. So I know we uh, we don't have anything planned, and we will not plan anything for your seventh world title. I'm, I'm not doing anything for your seventh world title. I will literally just gesture at you obscenely. What's the next question? Uh, last question. And it comes from Dan Keitel, last year's runner-up. Um, great question. I've had my two opportunities, but I couldn't beat Dean. That's at NB6 and NB8. Dan. Does anyone have a chance... And if so, what does it take? What do you think it takes to beat Dean Allen? You've done it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I... Oh, I did beat him. I did beat him in the championship. You know, it takes... and There's a lot... You have to be very good all day long. And then when you play him, you cannot be off your game. He is not going to be off his game. But you can beat him. Anyone can beat him. I can beat him. You can, I know anyone, I can. It takes Even a, in a boot. It takes a little bit of luck to get that far. But once you play him, don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just another day. It's just a little pitch and catch, right? Just a little pitch and catch up there. You are really good at these monkey ball videos. Yeah. So that's what it. Else is up? That, that's that's our questions from the audience, uh, from our fans. Uh, tomorrow on Thursday, we will have our our predictions. Uh, predictions that have been wrong every single year. So no, make, what? make sure you come back tomorrow to see who we think is going to win in B9.